Hello everyone. So today it is snowing really bad. It's a blizzard. I can't go anywhere so I decided to do a book review. And this has been on my shelf. I read it a couple of months ago. Um, waiting to get reviewed anyway. It is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. Probably most everyone has heard about it or seen the movie because it, it is super popular. And um, there are a lot of reviews about it on the internet. But anyway, I'll give you my two cents. First of all, I got this from the thrift store, as always. There were tons of copies. I don't know why, but there were a lot of copies. And at the time, I was in the mood for crime, mystery, thriller. And this hit the spot. This is an excellently written, very intriguing mystery thriller. It is about an investigative journalist named Michael who is embroiled in illegal problems due to an article he wrote that he that turned out to be libelous or he he was convicted of libel. That is one subplot. That's how the book begins. And because he's in these legal problems, he also has come upon financial problems because he has to pay fines and he will eventually have to serve some jail time, yada, 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 all of that. So in the beginning, he is contacted by a wealthy industrialist, a rich company guy who wants him to investigate a 40-year-old murder slash disappearance of his grandniece. And that is the base that is the basic plot of this book. There are other subplots, but that is the main plot of this book. Michael is called upon to investigate the disappearance of his niece, but this guy, I forgot his name, I read this a couple of months ago. Um Wagner, that's right. That's his name. Wagner wants him to find out who murdered his niece because that's what he believes happened. So this book was excellently written. If you want a better review, because I know that probably wasn't even a real good one, you can check it out elsewhere. But I'll give you the pros and my pros and my cons for this book. The pros of this book is I love his writing. His writing was so clean and crisp and just really refreshingly um, logical. It was very well structured. I love the way he set up the book. He layered the story between him and the other main character, which her name is Lisbeth Salander. I hope I'm saying that right. That's another subplot, what's going on in her life. She is a computer hacker who works for a company that um, investigates people and other things. But that's her main job. So she is linked up with Michael and they get together to try to solve this 40-year-old mystery. But this book was excellently written. I love the style. It was very clean and to the point. And the way he layered all the subplots, because there's a lot of things going on in this book. I mean, so many things. It's like peeling back and the layers of an onion. That's how what and the way he wrote it was so well. So I really, really enjoyed that. You have Lizbeth's plot going on, you have Michael's plot, then there's the the other legal aspect that um is going on in Michael's life. So there's a lot of different things going on, but the off everything is very clear and logical. Nothing is confusing, nothing overlaps. He structures everything in this book really well. So that is the main thing I like about this book. And besides, the storyline is is pretty, really pretty intriguing. He, he keeps you turning the page. So that was a very good um, positive. Now, because this is becoming a long review, I'll go on to the negatives. This book was long. Oh my goodness, how many pages? Um, 590 pages. It just felt so long to me. I don't know why. There it is. And this edition, I don't know the size of this, but this is a little bit bigger in terms of height and, and width. So it's 590 pages. I've seen other um, versions that are like this 
I'm just giving you an example of this size and they're like 800 pages so that's one of my down, my cons the length of this book it was a little bit too long for me and so I didn't feel the urgency to come back and read it and besides the fact that it's a 40 year old mystery so I really didn't feel the need to find out you know nobody was being held hostage or anything like that so I felt like I could put it down and then come back and and the same thing will be going on but the length of it was it was a little bit too long for me and and, and the other con about this book is that once the main plot was concluded it felt like it started a whole nother book towards the end I want to say like the last hundred pages should have been put in another book now I was reading on the internet that the reason they did that is because obviously the author Steve Larson he passed away from a heart attack I believe and so they didn't want to do too much editing on the book so it feels like you have two books in one book because there is a clear delineation between the end of the main sub the main plot that ends it concludes it's solved or whatever and then a whole nother story begins right towards the end of the book I didn't really like that that added to the length of the book and it's just like it's a totally different subject because the other um, issue was resolved so but like I said that was due to them not wanting to edit it after he passed away but other than that that was my only con to this book and I give it a three and a half out of four stars it was really good except for the length <laughs>